Now we have gone through the drawings, you are more familiar with the project, but still there is a lot of missing. And by the way, this is the case in a lot of tender projects. So now what should you do? Actually, from these drawings, you can build a schedule. It's, no, it's not going to be the perfect schedule, because you don't have the perfect drawings as well, but it's going to work fine. So now in creating the WBS, what do you think it should be? Is there something that's unique? Or is it something that everyone will build the same? No, definitely no. There's different ways to build a WBS. I prefer to always differentiate between the materials. For example, let's say we are talking here about construction. So in such case, we are going to go to the WBS tape tab. And in WBS tab, we are going to add the new WBS. Trust case, I would like to say first, because if it's an EBC project, engineering, procurement, construction, so we will name this as a construction WPS. What's usually under the construction? Usually there are three main categories or disciplines. These are structural architectural and mechanical. You can always move by using this to adjust where should you place this WPS. And then you can name it whatever you want to. Architectural. Then we have our MAB. You can always separate this as well or you can always make it more detailed whatever you want. So usually we start with the structural works. Even architectural, you can always make it, let's say, uh, messy activities, which is block work, screed, whatsoever, and then separate it after the MAB by final finishes and final fix. Still, you can make a lot of changes. But that depends on the level of the schedule you want. Do you want so detailed or no? So now you have such thing. In the structure, you can always break it down also to substructure and superstructure. But in our case, or you can play uh, which is below ground level and above ground level. You can break it like this, but in our case, there is no much activity below the ground level. Usually you want to reach to the ground level because this, this is very hard in the construction because of dewatering, the lot of troubles, the sand troubles, the gravel whatsoever, backfilling, retaining walls. So usually when you reach the ground level, the rest Usually, it's typical if it's a tower or something, or it would be very easier to construct rather than below. So you can separate between the below or above. And for the architecture, you can separate it as, let's say, three activities, like, let's say, the miss activities or the normal finishing works and the final finishing works. But the miss activities, I mean, dry, uh, I mean uh, block work, screed mainly, or... Uh, any any anything that need a blaster, anything that's messy, kind of messy. The finishing works you can say like the general facade works, GRC, glass reinforced concrete, uh, curtain walls, or dry walls first fix, dry walls second fix. Final finishes is the items that really needs AC that needs to be done at the very very end. An example of vinyl because vinyl if you didn't do it at the very end. It might pop up and it might not be good to use. So you, there should be an AC to install the vinyl, for example, carpet, wooden, millwork, cladding, blah, blah, blah. And for the MAB, for sure, there is the MAB first and second fix, accordingly to each project as well. Sometimes it could be first fix is the only what's inside the concrete, second fix is where the hangers, and etc. It's according to the project and you have to study this as well. But for the sake of this, and in order, in order to understand how to build this schedule, we are going to simplify it as much as possible. You can also make MAB before the architectural. It doesn't matter. It really matters. You are going to see when we are going to build the activities. So I guess from now, there is different schools. By the way, all is the WBS, you can refine it more and better by using codes. You're going to see this as well. For example, in the structure, you are not going to break down below ground level or not, but you might add this in the codes. 
so this is the very general and you can break it down as much as you can you can start building your activities and then you say that you might require to make a new work package or WS and make a further breakdown for the WS so for now you have understood how to make the WS and a sample for a WS for this example